Now, some would say I've been overprotective of Hannah, particularly when I set an age of 30 before she could bring a boyfriend home. Well, you can imagine my surprise when at 17 she brought Andre home to meet me. <laughs> it was 13 years too early and I was not ready. <laughs> and in bounded Andre, like Tigger, because he never enters anywhere quietly. And he waved his hand and he went, hey, Mum. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, Andre, you're not getting the perfect wife. <laughs> there are people in this room who will tell you that we spoiled Hannah when she was growing up, <laughs> and still do. Even now, Hannah seems to have never got out of the mindset of bank of mum and dad. <laughs> there have been times when I thought we shared a shared, had a shared bank account, except it was only me paying into it. Well, Andre, congratulations. The day has arrived. She's all yours. <laughs> the account is closed. <laughs> to work with my now brother-in-law, Daniel, one who looks like a shit wizard. Um, <laughs> we were just chatting uh, when we used to work in the steam house behind the bar and he was telling me about his family and he mentioned Hannah. So I was like, oh, you've got a sister, have you? Which he replied, my ass, you wouldn't get anywhere near her. Well, Daniel. <laughs> Ten years in, a house, a child, and now I'm married. You owe me 20 quid, mate. What would, it, what would happen if I didn't have that finger? Where would I put it? Where it was. Yeah? You put it on your thumb. Hannah, today I promise. To spend the rest of my life with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. Helping our love grow. Helping our love grow. By always being there. By always being there. To listen. To listen. To comfort. To comfort. And to support you. And to support you. Whatever our lives bring. Whatever our lives bring. I will love and care for you. I will love and care for you. Honour and cherish you. Honour and cherish you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. Hannah, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and the promise. And the promise. Of of all my tomorrows. Andre, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. I'd like to introduce her to my wife. <laughs> I actually first met at Hannah at Dan and Healy's engagement party. Uh, I'd been out all day with the lads. Um, I seen her near the bar, walked over all smooth and stuff like I am, do you know what I mean? Chat up in the bird. So after a few drinks, I got chatting to her, she gave me a number, but I lost it. But I did hear that it was a good job that I left. She was a little bit sick. Um, so about three months later, Hannah obviously couldn't get me out of her mind. I received a very flirty message on Facebook. <laughs> I've just seen your massive head in Chadwick's. <laughs> I knew this girl was the one. <laughs> Hannah, 
my wife. You are the most, you are the most amazing woman I've ever met. You're funny, kind, and, and have an infectious 6,000 pound smile. <laughs> You have helped me grow into the man that I've become. You gave me the greatest gift that any man could ask for, a walk with alpacas for my 30th birthday. <laughs> and I mean, I actually mean Freddie. You're the most amazing mother, and the reason he's such a great little man is all down to you. We never argue. We always sort out our differences in the most adult way possible. Rock, paper, scissor. I've won three out of a hundred. I love you so much and always will. I'm so glad that I get to spend the rest of my life here. There's a lot of good about my best mate. He doesn't take life too seriously, which is frustrating as his boss, I mean colleague. <laughs> but, sorry, but priceless as a friend. He's always upbeat and when times have been tough, there's nothing I've valued more than daft old Andre to take my mind off things. Um, the next step was the arrival of our wonderful Freddie, a sweet little boy who could form sentences from such an early age. Pretty impressive considering his dad can't at 31. <laughs> but uh, I've never questioned anyone's ability to parent, but for a man who doesn't wash his feet and has a fear of giraffes, I did have my concerns. <laughs> but he took to Father Road like a true natural, and I couldn't be prouder. I managed to watch him grow from an idiot into a top lad. <laughs> a father and our husband and I'm honoured to be his best friend. But no, in, uh, in all seriousness, it's been an amazing day so far and um, I can't wait to see what the night's got in store. So please, can everyone rise and raise a toast for the wonderful bride and groom. Thank you. My wish for you both today is that you love each other forever. Andre, on behalf of myself and Tony, David and Claire, I would like you to welcome you to our family. So let's raise the toast to the bride and groom, Hannah and Andre.